In an earlier video, I've mentioned about the services and explained how they are useful for exposing and publishing the applications outside. However, that's just one part of the job that services are useful for. The other part of the job is to do the service discovery and that is internal service discovery between the application. So when you want the front end to talk to the catalog, how does it work? Or when front end wants to connect with the cards and other application, how does it work is through the service discovery. Now, why is it needed is let's assume that let's say this is the front end application and it needs to connect with the catalog. There are three instances of this front end application and two instances of the catalog. Now, in order for each of this instance to connect to the backend application, it needs to maintain some connection information. And uh, the way it is done in this example, I'm going to show you that configuration file itself. So this is the front end application and the way it connects with the back end services right now is using a very simple configuration such as this. So it, when it wants to connect to catalog, it is just connecting, trying to connect to it using a host name called as catalog. Now this is really useful and why it is useful is otherwise if you do not have that you'll have to maintain the information first of all you'll have to go and find out the IP address of each of the services here each of the ports here and then for each of your front end application you would have to add the configuration to point to these services and not only that the moment you scale the second application you'll have to go back and update the configuration on all of these three, restart the service possibly, and that can get really messy quickly uh, with increasing number of uh, instances as well as uh, whenever you update it, it, it replaces the container so it is dynamic uh, endpoints that you have here. So instead of this, if you had one single endpoint, that is this, there's one single endpoint, let's say by name catalog, and that in turn maintains the list of pods available that would be much, much easier. And this is where service discovery comes into picture. Now, for service discovery, you know, there are different organizations use different external tools as well, including console and etcd and zookeeper. But in case of Kubernetes, Kubernetes comes with the DNS servers and it comes with internal service discovery, which is what I'm gonna demonstrate in this video by connecting and by launching an application for catalog and then connecting it with the front end service, which is running here. This is our application stack with front end, which we're gonna connect with the catalog. The catalog application repositories are here as well as I have built the images for both catalog and catalog DB because even though it is one service, it has a backend application, backend database that it needs to connect with. So I need to deploy two services here, one for catalog, another for catalog DB. So I go to the workload and click on deploy from here. And uh, when I have to choose the image, so first I'm gonna deploy the catalog DB application. And uh, the image for that has been built and published on Docker Hub already. So I pick that image, um, you know, image repository, uh, which is catalog hyphen DB colon latest is my image tag. And uh, then I have to provide few configurations for catalog that includes the environment variables because environment variables allow you to make changes to the images and uh, sort of uh, when you launch the image if you want to make changes and update the application configurations environment variables allow you to do that in this case i need to define the mysql password empty it's supported and the default database for it through environment variables i click on environment variables add that as a boolean property that is mysql allow empty password and then provide the database which is SocksDB. so this application has been taken from microsoft Services application by VWorks, uh, which was related to Sock Shop, and that's why you see the same configurations there. And I provide the name, which is catalog hyphen DB. That name is extremely important because that is how my application is connecting to the database using name catalog hyphen DB. And on the right hand side, you will also see what is happening and uh, in the diagram. So you have nodes, you have deployments and deployments launch the pods. If I go back to the workload, um, it's still in progress. So I see some rare does not have, uh, you know, 
minimum availability which means that it is still launching the pods sometimes you might have to go and look at your resources and if your resources are not enough for the nodes you might have to launch one or more nodes in order to make that available so from the node console you can look at that right now i have enough capacity available in terms of hardware resources so i just have to wait for the workloads to be available which are now so the catalog db has been deployed with uh, let's say three pods so it starts with three pods because it has this auto scaling configuration and it is scale it down automatically um, you know i don't have to do anything there next is the catalog application i repeat the same process i go back to the workload click on deploy add my image repository which is my username slash image repository and colon latest uh, provide the name for the application that is uh, to deploy that that is catalog uh, again make sure you use the same names in order for everything to work perfectly okay and i started deploying my application and uh, this is uh, the catalog now i'm going to show you how my front end connects with the catalog application it uses uh, service discovery, internal service discovery. It uses a host name rather. So front end wants to connect to catalog. It's going to use HTTP catalog and it's going to connect to port 80. Now in order for this to work, I need to expose the application using service. I need to create an internal load balance, an internal service using cluster IP mechanism. I need to do that for both catalog as well as catalog DB. Anything that needs an access to uh, in incoming access, you need to create a service for that. It could just be an internal service class within cluster IP as well. Now the port catalog the app front end connects to catalog using port 80 so that's why the port i have defined is 80 but the application catalog itself might be running on some other port if i want to find out that port i need to go and look at either the docker file or the docker image description and find out which port is supposed to be exposed in this case it's uh, expose instruction says 80 uh, 81 so i pick that port and add it to the configuration as target port target port is application port that's where the pods and the application will run on i choose the load uh, you know the type of service as cluster ip because i don't want to expose it outside i don't need to do that and uh, this is important the catalog uh, as a name of the service is extremely extremely important because that is how th that is the host name that the front end is looking for if you miss that part if you reconfigure it incorrectly the service itself will not be available and uh, the application won't be able to connect to that because it's looking for a specific host name i need to repeat the process for catalog db as well I have, uh, this is my application deployment. I see the pods running for catalog. I have a service created for catalog as well, which shows me the internal endpoint. This doesn't have a load balancer configuration. It shows me which pods it is sending the traffic to. And that happens based on labels and selectors. Labels and selectors are extremely important. Now I go back to catalog DB and click on expose the application where I choose the port that my database would be running on. Now, if I go back and look at my Docker file for catalog DB, it points to another image, which is uh, MySQL 5.7. Now, if I can go to Docker Hub, that is hub.docker.com, search for MySQL, find out the Docker file for tag 5.7 which gives me the expose instruction which is 3306 that is the default port a mysql database runs on so i can just pick that and co configure it here if the ports are same i don't have to provide it here that is optional only if the ports are different the target port is different i have to provide that again i'm going to choose cluster ip as the service type catalog hyphen db this name is again important in order for the catalog application to be able to connect to this backend service. And now that I have both services running and sending the traffic to the respective parts, I should be able to access this application from you know the web browser where I have right now just the front end application running. I can go back and try and access it from here. So this is all internal service discovery using the host names. And uh, I have three applications and three services running. If I go and refresh this page, it loads the catalog. Thus, there you go. 
So that loads the catalog. It will start showing up the catalog with the you know the products and their description and some images related to that as well. And that is how the internal service discovery works. So services are not only useful for exposing the application, publishing the application outside, but also for internal service discovery. And we have three services running with their internal discovery as well as external publication using load balancer. And for each application, that's what you do. You create a deployment, you create a service. Typically, you have at least two components, deployment and a service, unless your application does not need to be discovered.